One, two, three, four, testing, begin. On that boat trip, you basically manipulated the press one more time and upset. No, wrong. The press manipulated themselves. Uh, they've been perpetuating the rumour about said boat trip for some month now in the British press. And rather than deny it, I just went along with it and said nothing for a laugh. And then mm, two weeks ago, it occurred to us that why don't we just set up a sham? and let them fool themselves into believing it's the real thing. And this is what happened. It was a jolly good occasion. It's the British press making fools of themselves once again. I am respected, not by journalists, but they don't buy records, do they? They get it all for nothing, that's the pity. I think the day journalists have to pay to go into concerts and pay to buy records is the day they'll start appreciating in a much more sensible way. Who was the idea of uh, using the Scottish Sex Pistols? I mean, I didn't <sighs> do an interview with anyone. <laughs> it was, was too good an opportunity to miss. Who In fact, uh, when I heard of, of them, uh, that's when I put it all together. They'll probably sell more than the real Sex Pistols, such as the current trend. I mean, you've got Bjorn again, the Australian Doors. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's an absolute fallacy, fantasy, and enjoyable for most people, I suppose, except me Why? and the original victims. How do you feel about acts such as Motley Crue, Megadeth, and Guns N' Roses coming and anarchy in the UK? I find it hilarious that all these bands get on MTV doing versions of Sex Pistols stuff, but the real Sex Pistols don't. <laughs> I find it also hilarious with Public Image. I've been at Public Image now for a long time. We've made some extremely diverse music. Uh, we can't get airplay, not anywhere. Uh, but the imitation bands seem to hog the limelight left, right and centre. I think that's again down to the, the business and the way it is. It only likes the pale shadows. It doesn't like the real thing. Fifteen years ago, we were uh, viewed as incapable morons. Uh, that's because we're all basically working class, uh, and the music industry, in Britain at least, was definitely run by the middle class and the upwardly mobiles. Uh, this left no place for basic working class people. The Sex Pistols was an absolute contradiction to that regime. And that's why we had to tolerate so much animosity and hatred. It's not so much the content of our songs that offended, but the mere fact that we were so-called primitive gutter people. Do you think you actually contributed to change? Absolutely, yes. I, I made the industry turn on its head. It might, at the moment, have gone back into mediocrity again, but that's not my fault. I've done my bit for society. It's now up to all the rest of you. Well, you I'm not going to wave a flag forever here. You either understand what I'm doing or you don't. I just think it's very relevant. Were you conscious at the time? It's what... tough being born poor. At the time, I mean, were you conscious of what was, what were you actually doing? You were actually, you know, breaking the barriers. You, were no, you... no, it wasn't a worked out intellectual campaign. We just did what we felt was necessary. It's unfortunate that uh, the manager at the time, his name will not be mentioned, uh, ran a different kind of philosophy with the press and pretended that it was all his marvellous plan. I think history has proved that to be incorrect. We're still here, we're still working. He's not doing anything. Do you find your attitude actually was different from the others from the band, I mean, at that time especially? Oh, yes, we're individuals. We weren't a gang, but uh, all wearing the same outfits or, or sheep led to the slaughter. We were very, very separate people in our own rights. That's what made it work. Mm -hmm. And I celebrate the art of the individual. Actually, you know, reading through the notes in the album, basically, that, you know, it came out. I mean, I just, I just had that flash because you, you were saying, for example, 
on submission that you know you, you had an argument but then you know you and Glenn we actually you know sat down again together and just worked yes. it out and to make the song etc mm, now we just told the truth right rather than uh, fantasizing about what a wonderful bunch of guys we were and how we all got on well together we didn't we argued morning noon and night but you have to because that's what being in a band is all about diversity I never liked anything he ever did and he thought the same about me and we'd meet in the middle and it would make for good records. The Sex Pistols really encapsulated the whole punk movement, you know, completely. No, I mean, there was the Sex Pistols, then there was several hundred bands that followed. Yeah, but you... What I'm trying to say, basically... The Sex Pistols was not part of any movement. There was the Sex Pistols and that was it. There was a punk movement which we never affiliated ourselves to. That came after. That was the, the imitators and, and the lesser beings, right. if I want to be arrogant about it. There were some good bands that came out of that, but the Sex Pistols was an entity to itself. It, it was self-perpetuating. It relied on nothing or no one, not for anything. Are there any regrets you, you had from the whole saga with Sex Pistols? I mean, you... No. How do you stay longer together? Are you and that includes Sid's death. I have no regrets. What will be, will be, and that's it. You just have to accept it. I could no more save him than I could have killed him. He made his own decisions. Were you close to him at that time? He was my best mate. I'm sad about it, he died, but... The truth be known, he really wasn't that important to the band at all. All that press stuff about him came afterwards. That was the manager's manipulation of the press at that point. He never contributed to any of the songwriting or any of the recording. What more can I say? I'm sure most people don't want to hear that, but that's the way it was. Yeah. Well, yeah. He was a showroom dummy. Shame on me for using him as such, but that's life. And I didn't hear him complaining at the time. Did you know that you were using him? I mean, were you... Oh, you yes. Know? And he knew too, and loved it. Yeah. When a completely talentless person is put in a role like that, they go for it. Well. Cruel, harsh words. <laughs> it's just reality. Why have you waited so long to release the Sex Pistols album, Greatest States? So I right? haven't. It's just been there for a long time. Uh, Virgin last year informed me that they were going to do it regardless, so I made sure that I was involved in the project from start to finish. Uh, that way I could guarantee the best quality, the best packaging and the cheapest price. Because I don't like people to be ripped off. Uh, it's my bottom line philosophy in life. Treat the fans fair. What are people's expectations towards you? They want corrupt. They want Madonna. They want fake. They want lies and phoniness and imagery. They don't want reality. Does it worry you anyway that bringing the whole, you know, the thing alive again, back to life again, might destroy what has been for many people like a legend, like a dream. <sighs> Look, what other people want to believe or fake or change history into being is their own decision. The reality is I'm just re-releasing some stuff I did 15 years ago. You can either like it or lump it. I care not. You must not presume that we're suddenly now going to go out and do a stadium rock tour or any of that nonsense. And if we do, that would be because we would decide for all the right reasons, not the wrong reasons. There is a great deal of thought in what I am associated with. 
maybe to a lesser extent other members of the band, but that be the truth nonetheless. Make no presumptions with us. We're not rehashing the past. Will you be reforming the Sex Pistols, either recording or performing live? Or Don't know, no comment, maybe. The re-release of the Sex Pistols is quite apt, because this is exactly the same situation when we started. Nobody seems to be shouting and screaming about the things that matter. What are the things that matter? Poverty, desperation, unemployment, boredom, bad governments, lack of money, lousy economy. These are major issues. It affects everyone in this country. Nobody seems capable of dealing with it. Don't you find that the generations have changed? I mean, I'm, I mean, obviously, I didn't live over here. Maybe so. All they need is a kick in the right direction. Get up, stand up, say something, do something. You can dance your pants off all night, but you've got to have something going on up here to carry you on through the next day. Otherwise, you're a slave to the system, and then you have no right to complain. If you accept the tedium that is currently in this and most other countries in the world, then you deserve what you get which is precisely nothing. Techno scene, there is no scene. It's just a lot of fools with Casio tones. They're not, they're not playing or doing anything creative there. It's all factory programming. It's all well and fine and good and enjoyable and bumptious and poppy. But what about the rest of it? Where's that? It's too much of the same thing. Techno pop is, is just used to advertise chocolate bars or, or soap or any kind of commercial product. That's, that's all it really fits into. TV advertising. I was referring more to the, you know, recent events at Castle Morton, for example. Uh, pardon? I was kind of referring more to Castle Morton, the event at Castle Morton. Do you, did you know about that? I 20... don't know what you're talking about. Oh, right, OK. Basically, 24,000 people, they just went there and they created, you know, like, I mean, they basically took a space. Oh, it just kept going no! You're, you're talking about the mobile hippies. <laughs> Forget it. That's no movement. That's a load of lazy sods living on the dole, making no commitment to anybody but their own personal benefits. These are selfish people. These don't fit into any society other than the I've got nothing, therefore I'll take what I can from others. I can't go along with those people at all. They don't commit themselves to caring for the rest of the human race. They're all completely selfish. Burn them at dawn. Have you followed the recent royal stories, you know, with the Princess Diane? The royal family isn't necessarily political. Uh, I've always wanted to eliminate them from British society because I pay a lot of bloody money to keep those pompous turds in skiing holidays, and I find this offensive. I like skiing, but it costs me my own money. I don't see why I should pay for that royal baggage to enjoy on my tax, hard-earned tax pound. I find it offensive in the extreme. Burn them along with the hippies. I shall have a cigarette then, or is that illegal on a super channel? How much are you motivated by money now, anyway? It's the same, nothing's changed. Same philosophy. Will be my philosophy until the day I die. And I don't think anyone's going to be in my will either. Leave nothing to no one. <laughs> <laughs> no children, nothing. <laughs> no, I don't want children. It's just another argument. Okay. I enjoy procreation very much. I don't like the end result. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to go into that anyway. Um, you better not. My wife's sitting next to you. Um, Hello, Dawn. About your plans for uh, public image, 
Are you thinking of reforming them in 15 years' time? Or? No, public image is an ongoing concern. It's never going to stop. Um, what I'm going to do, though, for the next six months is a solo album. And then put Pill back together again. Pill is still working, but I'm doing solo stuff in between. It's all work, that and the book about the Sex Pistols and my life, and, and of course the Sex Pistols documentary, so I'm a busy boy. What, what's this book? What, what is this thing about? What, what is this book? <laughs> what is this book? <laughs> I've heard of the book. I'm writing a book. Are you? It's almost finished. It's lovely. It takes no prisoners. Everybody comes out looking dirty, including me. I didn't wash very often then, you see. Peace and love made a road rise with you. Thanks, John.